Welcome to Semenyak Valley and in this video I'm going to show you the very best things to see and do in Semenyak. Here we go. Welcome to our accommodation in Seminyak. Uh, we just arrived down from Ubud and we're staying in the Masson Villas. It's a beautiful little location here. We've got a gorgeous pool outside which I'll show you again. So this is the accommodation that we're actually staying in. So pretty basic, uh, sorry for the lighting here now, but we got a fine big double bed here, probably like a triple bed. Um, it's kind of, I suppose, what would you say, uh, very rustic look about it but uh, it's beautiful so let me give you a quick tour around the villa or the little rooms that we have and see what you can get for less than 35 euros yeah we've got a tv and a little workspace area and then over here you've got the bed this is your little workspace area here i suppose and then you have a little wardrobe here and then as we come out this is the bathroom area. So, outside setup. You can have your shower out here. Nice little vibe to it. Oh, look, and they even give you a couple of toothbrushes. That's here, disposable toothbrushes. So as we head back out again, I'm just going to show you the balcony area and we do actually have a pool view. So the next best thing to do when you visit Simignac is the beaches. The beaches here are absolutely fantastic. They go all up the coastline here. And here and Changu are probably the two spots that people love to come the most. So definitely the number one thing to do here is swimming. Personally I don't swim myself, so you're not going to see me out in that water. But the next best thing and why a lot of people come to this area is for the surfing. So definitely, when you come to Simnia, one of the must do things is spend your time on the beach. Most people do. Seminyak Beach and Double Six Beach and we headed into the Pedero Head uh, Beach Club which was amazing I have to say it was absolutely fantastic the vibe in there really cool but it's you know very trendy and all that so, so yeah so the vibe in there is very good it's a bit overwhelming 
after you've been in Ubud for a couple of days. Yeah, I definitely prefer the vibe of Ubud. In my younger days, I probably would have went with Seminyak. The streets, as we were driving back up, we decided to come back up to our uh, hotel here, or actually the, the accommodation that we're staying at here, uh, Maison Villas. Um, we came back up here, decided to have something to eat up here. It's nice and quiet, uh, a lot more laid back and spend a lot of time in the villa itself but uh, yeah as we were driving back up the streets themselves were absolutely crazy you could see people heading out and you could tell that it's going to get absolutely mad down there definitely not for us but i'm sure if you're looking for a wild night out and having a really good time enjoying your nights out and finding some bars and stuff like that it looked like it was actually cracking so definitely if you're looking for that head down that direction but I do miss my good at this stage. Welcome to Changu in Bali. Yes, we are in Changu, but we're a little bit north. It's still the Changu area, but we're a little northeast of that. We're about 15 minutes away from the Tan Lot, so away from the coast. We're inland about 15 minutes. So we're staying in the Anapori Villas which is an amazing spot. We're gonna show you the best things to do and see in Changu. I do have to say the villa here is absolutely amazing and all for less than 60 euros. So let me take you on a little tour of our own little private villa here in Changu. time for us to go for something to eat and we've decided we're heading out to a place called Catella Eatery and Lifestyle is the name of it. So back down into the craziness of Changu, into the mad streets and shops. Let's go and have something to eat. down to come to this restaurant Catella. Uh, it seems that Catella as we walk through is actually in a resort called Hiana. So the restaurant is in here we didn't even know it so it looks like it's quiet here right now. We've got the place to ourselves, order some smoothies. Um, it's a beautiful pool, fantastic well-kept gardens around here so you know food is supposed to be great here so we're just gonna sit and enjoy it and then take a walk around Changu. has arrived and like I was saying that water <laughs> that water is cold so I don't know if I can actually it's not too bad Love. it's it's cold like yesterday but maybe not as <laughs> maybe I'm wrong <laughs> or I can just bring it to you here grab it So it's time for us to leave our beautiful villa here in Changu and before we actually leave Changu what we're going to do is we're going to head down and we're going to show you the Tan Lot Temple which is just on the coast down here before we head back to Ubud. So let's go check out the Tan Lot Temple. So 
So when you come down to the Tanlock Temple, just behind you, you probably be dropped off or if you're coming in. So behind you right here is where the cars and stuff like that come in and you'll have the bikes as well. So where the cars are pulling up, that's where you can get your ticket. And then you come through the little gate that's here and the lovely people at the gate will stamp your ticket. And as you come through, then right here, we're gonna head off down to the right, down to the temple. And you see the fabulous uh, Instagram photographs of people standing on a rock with the temple in the background, just like go you know, nice and lonely. There's actually hundreds of people here, isn't it? All waiting to get photographs taken. is the Tanla temple that's behind me and originally it's from the 16th century uh, and what they did was they did some reconstruction in 1980 here as well um, there's a lot of pilgrims come here as you can probably see by the crowd that's actually around it's a, an absolutely beautiful spot and Tan Lat actually means rock in the sea in Balinese but it's an absolutely gorgeous area and just right up behind me here on the coast so just right up here there's a beautiful cafe up there and you can sit there in the evening and watch the sun go down sunsets here about six o'clock doesn't fluctuate too much but uh, it's a lovely cafe up there that you can sit overlooking tan lock behind you and watch the sun set it's supposed to be amazing I'm going to try and do that today if we are still around Don't forget folks to like, share and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out an awful lot and I really, really would appreciate it. We spent a wonderful couple of hours here this morning down in Tan Long and also uh, Belong Temples. Uh, gorgeous place. I mean, much more relaxing than what we were used to earlier on in Changu. Um, so, you know what? This is proper Bali. This is what people think of when they see Bali, and uh, it is truly amazing.